Hi guys, Keith Narkberg Farms. It is now the first week of July and the heat has finally broke for us here on the farm. Been hunter temperatures all week, but now it's actually starting to cool back off, at least for this week. So this week uh, I realized I hadn't taken a tour of the farm in a while. So wanted to do a uh, basically midsummer farm tour and show you what we got going on. And don't forget, arkenbergfarms.com. Scroll down to the bottom. There's a tab down there, digital tools and training. Bunch of cool stuff there, spreadsheets. Uh, we got our greenhouse side openers there as well. Also our Eat Leaf Arkenberg Farm t-shirts. Go ahead and pick one of those up. Great way to support the farm. Um, we also do uh, consulting and a Q&A every third Thursday through live. So go ahead and check that out. So as always, we're going to start in field one. This is all beets, cropped out. Um, topped and in the walk-in. Old field two is a prop house. Got a little bit of starts in here, may lettuce, everything else kind of needs to be cleaned out like the tomato plants that went in months ago. Plot three has almost been completely cropped out. We had kohlrabi and beets over here and more kohlrabi. We're getting the last of the beets out, topping them and they're going the walk-in as well. We also have a bunch of kohlrabis in storage right now. Over here in tunnel 4a, we've got our zucchini still kicking. They're starting to wear out. I know I need to plant our batch. Uh, pickling cucumbers up front here, they again are also starting to wear out. Further down the row, we have more cucumbers down here, and then our main slicers right here. They're all doing really good, not really showing any signs of disease or anything. They're pumping cucumbers really good. We're harvesting them every other day. Actually getting way too many. I knew I planted too many, but I also have the outlet now at the roadside stand. So that's helping out immensely with that. Plot 4B is going wild. So I came in here, cut stuff down. Now I'm trying to solarize, kill off everything and hopefully cook the seeds that have formed. I'll let the grass go to seed on me. Very, very bad out here. I should know better, but things get busy this time of year and it happens. Plot five, the high tunnel, kicking really good. Um, this A-frame tomato trellis, which you really can't see. I shot a video on it earlier, I think, kind of showing you what the thoughts were. Actually working really, really good. Got a lot of shade. So, none, so no sun scald so far. Um, cherry tomatoes doing good. Except my little red ones are like little, little. I don't know if I've got the wrong variety or what I did. The orange and all the other color ones are working great. Other batch of zucchini in here. It's still pumping along. Um, starting to wear out as well. We got the uh, garlic and onions out of these two beds. Um, turned out I didn't remember right. I couldn't figure out why this bed died before this one did. Um, this was all soft neck, so it goes earlier. This was hard neck, and I had uh, onions interplanted. So we got a nice bunch of nice little candied onions, and then we got the eggplants. Eggplants are chugging right along. We're starting to get some development on them. They're just barely starting to go. I think I might get two or three this week, maybe, but with all the blooms on this thing, we're going to have a ton in here. They love growing in high tunnels, and they just take off. Uh, little bit of flea beetle damage nothing to worry about they're doing great now plot six my high rotation bed which also has some potatoes which those are ready to start pulling out but it just rained a lot so we're probably not going to get them um pretty barren got a bunch of grass growing um i got irrigation on which it does not need because we just got three quarters of rain the other or inches of rain the other night so that's really really not needed at this point go ahead and get that switched off and then set it on delay so it won't come back on for at least 24 hours because trust me we don't need it um have had some major grass pressure in this bed i knew i was going to have it on this half of the bed which i do coming in strong other side's doing really good this is where i lost eight beds of carrots last year to the grass so i knew the seed was here uh it's been hot we've been getting rather poor transplant success out here I mean, this bed right here, you can kind of see the greens where plants are, the blanks are where there's not. So there's quite a bit that we've lost. Do have the shade cloth out, which helps. Um, again, with the grass being so, coming in so hard down here, just about tripped on a bucket there. I actually lost this whole bed of lettuce in here to the grass. Came through with the lawnmower, mowed it off. 
not even worth messing with, not worth saving or spending the time to try to save. The other bed downhill from it, right there, I actually went through and we weeded those. Uh, you take uh, cutters and actually go in and cut the grass out. If you cut it right below the root or where it comes up and just barely get the root, you can pull them right out without disturbing the lettuce. Uh, radishes and all that stuff, we harvested all that early this year. So we hit a bunch of beds in here and a bunch of beds in the greenhouse. Those are all in storage, selling great as well. So now we're on to bed seven. This is all the main season summer crops we've been doing. Got it all in plastic, landscape fabric, little, uh, one of those three foot pieces in between. Works great. I've got a little bit of grass to creep through where it blew over. Otherwise, I mean, it's doing great out here. The onions are getting ready to pull here before long. So you can see right here, they're just starting to fall over. So I should have some decent red and yellows coming out of here. The bunching onions up here, also doing great. We have just started harvesting those. We've got a few here and there. So that is very good. Really expanding the selection. They're nice, beautiful. They're about knee high, so they're doing great as well. And then we got our leeks up here. First year growing leeks. Don't know anything about them. Don't even know when to harvest them. But I pulled one the other day. It looked like something. I planted them deep, so they got a nice white stem on them. I think they still need to keep going. Then we got our pepper block here, full row of peppers, mainly bell from about here down. And then I've got assorted other stuff up here, a couple mysteries in there. I don't know, it happens every year with the peppers. Um, still have, got these cabbages out, got some Savoys down there I've still got to work with. Got a couple beautiful, beautiful beds of kale. And they look like this because we have such low demand for kale. They just really don't get harvested, to be honest with you. They'll just sit here and wait. When I go through and harvest, I'll harvest down and I'll take everything out and then the leaves on the bottom will be yellowed. And I'll just pitch those to the side. Uh, this cabbage bed's completely gone. Kale bed, like I said, I've been hitting it. I've got two varieties. I've got Arn up front here and where it changes color about right there down is darker boar. Um, we'll tell you for the summer, this Arn is just kicking butt. I know in the spring and the fall, the winter board does way, way, way better. Really beautiful. Uh, zucchinis out here are still hitting, not as big, easier to harvest. We've got all of our other roots out of here. Need to get this all cultivated before the grass really starts to take over. And this one right here, that's carrots. The carrots down the middle are gone. We've got our next bed of carrots, which we'll be harvesting next week. Uh, grass is just starting to seed in here, so I know we need to get them out soon. Planted... Nepali and Yaya, I think. I believe these are the Nepalis and these are the Yayas that already come out. And then we got our beautiful beds of potatoes, which are dead, supposed to be harvested today, was what my plan was. But we got enough rain that we're probably gonna have to wait a little bit. I don't want to get in here and make it too much of a mess. I mean, it's wet and it's starting to move a little, but I think it's gonna rain tonight. So we'll try to get that out Thursday or Friday. Hopefully, hopefully, we have a good block of potatoes in here. Did the intensive potato video on it, so I'm really excited to show everybody the results and see what we got going. Um, here's my auxiliary bed over here. This is my asparagus. Nicer up here where I've actually got the grass out and actually bedded in. And then we got a bunch of um, two beds of rhubarb here. One here, which is big giant ones I got from Johnny's. These are some cheap ones I got from Walmart, and I think I might have got them from the uh, one of our distributor or plant stores around here. Um, do have asparagus growing in it. Didn't realize it was in the bed when I planted the bulbs. I'll move that here next year. Uh, horseradish is also right here doing great. Got big beautiful leaves on it. And then our red raspberry trial. We've got three different types of raspberries in here we're trying this year. So I'm going to try to find which one's best. And then I want to root them and actually plant more and kind of head further over, or maybe just make a whole block of just raspberries. I don't know, I'll just kind of figure it out. That's one of my little pet projects I've really been wanting to do for years. So I'm really happy the way this has turned out. I do need to finish weeding that, which I might do tonight or tomorrow. Um, it's summer, it's hot, I start to get burnt out this time of year. So I'll work with what I can. It's all on fabric, so even if stuff comes in, it's only gonna be in that little gap anyways now we're on to block nine this is another one of my projects i try to mess around with every year my field of flowers um, the one thing that grows really really good here 
or zinnias. The zinnias always, always do great. Good and sturdy, great for cutting flowers, uh, making bouquets. Something I really don't have much time for. I was hoping I have some other staff to really do that. We got zinnias. Oh, uh, well, I don't even know what we got. We got a whole bunch of stuff in here. Um, noticed one really beautiful one right here. I don't know what those are, but they sure look cool. Anything that's out here grows well from seed and was not a pain in the butt to get going because otherwise it didn't get going. So I'll have to look back at my notes and really figure out exactly what's in here. I'm sure I could Google lens it or something like that and find out as well. As you can see, the grass has taken over the pathways and there's actually a third bed in here that I was going to plant with sunflowers. Never did. So I got to figure out something to do with that. Um, probably going to peel the plastic and come through and mow. That's probably going to be my most opportune thing to do at this point. And we come out to my corn. This is not field corn per se. This is actually a certain variety of corn that is good for feeding animals. So the idea was to plant a bunch of corn for feed corn for like hogs or chickens or something that we didn't have to grind. I got a couple really good varieties from another farmer in our region. So I'm really excited to try it. Um, we'll just kind of see what it does, how it goes, and then kind of go for there. I just cultivated this the other day, so it does look really, really beautiful. And then down here on the end, where it's super thickly planted, that's my glass gem uh, popping corn. Very beautiful, shiny, sucks as popping corn, but it looks really beautiful. It is overseeded. I do need to thin it or have somebody thin it, but at this point, I'm leaving it as is. And then we got the rest of the field block which needs massive amounts of cultivation. Same thing here, same thing over there. Started on it uh, the other day, and then I gave up because the two bottom plow running on the back of my tractor just was not having it. It was basically um, struggling. It was bogging down. I don't know if it's just too dry or what exactly. Did find a uh, new two bottom plow, well not new, new to me, Little category zero one actually. I found it on Facebook Marketplace. Drove about an hour and a half to pick it up. So I'm really excited to get that on and kind of see what it's going to do. I might do that tonight. I'm not 100% certain. It's still a little wet out here, but it's also going to get wetter. But it was really dry. So I'm kind of in that in between of it might work, it might not work. So we'll see. Um, very important thing to have on your farm all these little birdhouses that are like everywhere out here, all the way down the rows here. We got a great little house for in population. They almost completely take care of the caterpillar issue out here. They love eating them. I watch them in the greenhouses. They can go in and out. They feed off of them. Very, very great addition to your farm. If you have any kind of problems like that, and I believe that everyone should have them because they're super beneficial. But that's really how it's going. It's hot. I'm tired. Halfway burnt out. But you know, it's July. So... I'll get recharged come about September when everything starts cooling down. But within the next month, I need to start planting, at least starting my seeds for my winter transplants. So all my late season, early fall stuff, we'll get that stuff planted out, get it in trays, get it into the tunnel. It'll be on automatic watering. I won't have to worry about it. Come back late August, September, start planting it. So as always, hope you all liked me Saturday. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank y'all. Have a good day. Got a ripe slicing tomato in there. All the rest is looking really good. Here's what I was talking about, the birds controlling the caterpillars. There's a bunch of caterpillar poop underneath this tomato plant. And I see zero damage in it. I know he is eating something, but I cannot find him for the life of me. And here is one of the eggplants I was talking about. Looking really nice and ready to pull.